Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to start playing a new game. This one is called Oxygen Not Included. It was suggested to me by one of our awesome subscribers. So thank you, Scott, for suggesting this game. It is basically a survival colony game. We spawn off inside of an asteroid and we need to try and create a base and a little bit of a civilization, I suppose, for our people to survive in. So we're going to jump straight in and start a new game. Now, this game is also still in its alpha phase. Um, you are able to purchase it through Steam if you're interested in playing it at all. Uh, but we still may find a few bugs, but I'm sure we will be fine. So these are our crew members. I'm guessing we want some of everything so this guy's quite athletic and he's also a good learner so he's a quick learner he says it's a, he's as sharp as a tack or she she's as sharp as a tack i'm not too sure it's lyria and picks up skills with amazing speed but she has irritable bowel which means she takes a little bit longer than to than usual to do their business and her stress response she's a vomiter <laughs> so it says this duplicate is liable to puke everywhere when stressed all right well we don't want to stress her out but we will keep her i think she's going to be quite good she's quite athletic and she's quite a good learner what do we have over here we have max he's not bad at digging construction creativity and learning he has divers lungs which means he may have been a talented opera singer in another life so he doesn't actually need as much oxygen as the other guys so he's going to be pretty handy to have around but he's narcoleptic which it says he can and will fall asleep at any time or place so that could kind of be dangerous so we're gonna we're gonna have to keep an eye on max make sure he doesn't uh, uh, fall down a hole or something like that and also is good at digging and learning so I might try and see if I can maybe get a jack of all trades. So we might shuffle this. So we also now have May, who is a level six scientist. And he's a jack of all trades. He's got them all in there. He's a quick learner and he's also narcoleptic. So he also may fall asleep and he's destructive. So these guys are destructive. So when they're stressed out, they may go and beat our machines up. So we're going to have to keep an eye eye on that as well and it says name your colony and down here it says the inescapable laboratory you know what i think that sounds like a pretty spot on name let's embark on our journey alert your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body oddly they have no recollection of how they got here it might be best to start digging sure let's begin all right i might maybe pause and we'll have a little bit of a look around so what do we got down here so this is our base so this is where all our stuff is we have our oxygen we have an algae deoxidizer converts algae into oxygen becomes idle when the room enters maximum air pressure all right so we're going to need to collect some algae for that guy we also have a manual generator some electrical wire and a little battery we have some food sources we have a micro musher produces low quality food for duplicates using common ingredients duplicates will not fabricate unless recipes are cued sure we have some plumbing or oh, we have a toilet it's an outhouse reduces stress and the spread of disease by regulating where duplicates relieve themselves requires no piping must be periodically emptied of polluted dirt sure we have some utilities we have a heater we have some refinement which we can make some compost medicine we have a medical cot stations we have a research station and a supercomputer that's pretty cool we have some furniture so we have a cot a massage table and a floor lamp and then decor we have a flower vase and we have a tasteful memorial 
Ah, uh, yeah, don't want to look at that one just now. So this is obviously how we do everything. So we can dig, we can harvest, we can prioritize which ones we want to do first. And then we have our overlays up here. So scroll wheel is to zoom out and in and our oxygen in here obviously looks quite good down here isn't too bad either got a bit of carbon dioxide down here maybe once we bring in our oxygen it might not be so bad what have we got over here we have some water so that's handy we need to get in over there and we need some algae um, for our algae deoxidizer now there is algae all along there, I can see. We have some coal. We also have some copper ore. All right. So we will need to find somewhere to put a bathroom as well. So I'm guessing we might maybe start digging in this direction, try and collect up um, some of this algae along the way without bringing in too much of that carbon dioxide. Open up this area here and maybe make this area our sleeping quarters and maybe put some toilets over here or something I'm not too sure so we've got carbon dioxide and oxygen over here so we're just gonna get them to start digging so we will start digging in this direction I guess um, don't really know what's gonna happen when we open up that um, little area of carbon dioxide but I guess we're we're about to find out so you guys can dig all of this and oh it's telling us not to dig there so maybe we don't want to dig that plant dig pending um maybe cancel that maybe we can harvest that plant maybe I don't know we want to dig that area mmm can I harvest it can I tell them to harvest it no well I can't harvest it so I guess we're just gonna dig it out and unpause and they're all gonna get started beautiful so we will need to place down some floors and things like that check out this area what is down here so this is oxalite awesome so that's what we've got up here as well so that's how we're keeping our oxygen quite nice at the moment but we will need to um i want to get down into this area here so maybe i might tell them to build a bit of a ladder so we can get down in here as well once they've done what they are doing beautiful and how's our oxygen going now we've opened up that carbon dioxide space not great not great but hopefully because carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen maybe now we've opened up that area maybe I might need to open it up a little bit more tell them to dig out this bit here as well hopefully all the carbon dioxide will fall down into this pit and the oxalite might maybe turn it into oxygen I don't really know how that's gonna work but we can give it a shot we'll give it a shot anyways beautiful so they've finished digging out that area already and our carbon dioxide isn't that bad down here so I might maybe dig a ladder down into this area as well I might maybe send our ladder the whole way down and get them to dig into this area as well because I don't think that area is going to be too bad there's a fair bit of oxygen in there and then we might maybe place some tiles along here I think and dig out all of this section as well how was this up here what was this up here this is carbon dioxide up here as well we also have some water up here so that's going to be pretty handy we're going to need to get up to the water so we have somewhere to drink from maybe even we might maybe we might maybe dig over this way as well try and get that water so I'm gonna place some tiles um, I wonder if they can jump I guess we'll find out place some tiles like that and get them to dig out this section here also and then that way we can get to this water here so I'm guessing water is going to be pretty important. I mean, obviously it is um, in real life. You, you can't survive without oxygen and water. I'm guessing this game is going to be pretty much the same. So come in here and finish digging all this stuff out as well. Thanks, guys. I don't want to dig out that oxalite, though. We don't want to 
We don't want to dig that out. We need to keep that there. And I tried to destruct these, and I obviously need to click it on every little part. Awesome. So the oxygen is floating up our stairway now. That is awesome. That is what we like to see. So our oxygen isn't too bad at the moment. And I don't know if he's quite going to be able to get across far enough. What is that? That is fertilizer. Alright, so we might just do like that. And then that way, they should be able to get to that water now, I'm hoping. If I dig out this section here... And like that, we should be able to reach that water now. If we need a drink, that'd be awesome. And then what is going on up here? What is this? Polluted water? Did Hey, did you guys... <laughs> did someone pee on the floor? Ah, yuck, look. There's pee on the floor. You guys are gross. Mop that stuff up. That is disgusting. And we might dig out... Make this a little bit nicer in here. Can I harvest this? Can I harvest any of this stuff? No, I can harvest that one. Can I harvest this one? Uh, harvest that. No, I can't harvest any of this. All right, well, we might place a floor. How's the oxygen look in here? The oxygen's not too bad in here. What about down over here? All righty, so we need to place a toilet somewhere. Um... Where do we want to put our toilets? So, well, we might keep digging down for the toilets, I think. We might maybe make this our bedroom area, I'm thinking. So we'll tell them to build a floor right the way across. Get rid of that area there. And dig all of this out. Beautiful. Full. They should be able to get down there. I think the ladder is long enough. It is now. And if they dig all of this out, we can place some beds in here. And then maybe we might place our bathroom down over here. Because this area is pretty, pretty good, I think. <laughs> so I've had a little bit of an accident. Uh, I was trying to dig out our space for our bedroom and the water got out. So now we have water right the way through the entire bottom here, <laughs> which uh, was not my plan. So what have we got in here? This is all oxygen, right. So we're going to place a ladder down into here and hopefully all the water should then run down into here maybe. Maybe. And push the oxygen up, I'm hoping. Um, don't know if that will work, but I'm hoping it will. Are you guys going to come down here? Are you guys going to come down here and do this for me? Or do I need to make the ladder longer? Is the ladder not long enough? How about I go like that? Oh, they're all sleeping. You're all sleeping. And what's this going on? What's going on here? Printing pod. New duplicate available. Ah, awesome. So how do I get a new duplicate? Choose a duplicate. Thank you. Alrighty. So we have Trav, Bert and Ren. So Trav is quite good at digging, learning and tinkering. Uh, Bert is good at athletics and tinkering. And Ren is a level 6 bodybuilder. He is quite strong. Alright. So I'm thinking that you have flatulence some duplicates are just full of it so in other words he farts a lot um we may not get you because people are in confined spaces down here it's not a good idea irritable bow this takes a little longer than usual to do their business all right but you're an early bird wakes up feeling fresh and efficient all right, well, we might welcome Bert. Congratulations, Bert. Let's go. Welcome to our colony. Oh, straight away he fell asleep. <laughs> and they're up and roaring to go. So let's dig out this area here, guys. And hopefully all the water should drain away to there. Well, maybe not all of it, but a fair majority of it should drain away. Awesome. And is that pushing the oxygen back up? It is pushing the oxygen back up. 
That is handy. All right, so once all that water drains away, I did want to place our bathrooms down here, but that's going to be kind of tricky now. Maybe we might dig this area out as well and just get that water to drain right the way out because it will drain right down into this hole here I'm guessing awesome so all that water seems to slowly be draining away I wonder if I can just tell these guys to come mop the rest of this up can you just come mop this up just get rid of this last little bit of water and we will place in some beds and then over this way I'm going to build a bathroom because we don't want them doing their business all over the ground all the time obviously so it didn't do that very well that's a bit wonky we will go like cancel that bit out I don't know cancel cancel that and I will get you to build up like this um guessing maybe like that and we got some oxalite here as well which is awesome that's gonna make our oxygen much better so you guys can dig all of this area out please awesome and I will place a bathroom in here for you guys we have an outhouse here. Yeah, man, dig it all out. And I can place an out. Have you guys, did you pee on the ground again? Come on, man, that's gross. That's gross. Don't go peeing on the ground. That is disgusting. <laughs> I suppose so. It is kind of my fault. When you gotta go, you gotta go. And if I don't have a toilet in, I suppose they gotta go somewhere. So let's place this toilet in. So we can uh, save them peeing on the ground. We might place them a little bit apart because we don't want everyone uh, all being peeing on each other or anything like that. We'll give them a little bit of space there. And I'm thinking in this area here, we may place down, um, might place down some storage. Maybe that might, or do we need, how's our oxygen looking? Alright, our oxygen actually isn't too bad. It isn't really that bad yet. Um, but you know what? It's probably a good idea to put in our uh, algae deoxidizer anyways. And we might maybe place that here. So we're going to need some power for that guy though. So where was our power? Our power is here. So we have a manual generator. We will stick that next to the algae deoxidizer and we might place a few batteries here as well and we will need some electrical wire to cable these all up so I guess we're going from the plug right the way across to the algae deoxidizer and then back to these batteries as well awesome so they will get that all happening now we do have some water still in here so you guys are gonna have to come clean all this up please and I don't know if they're tall enough to reach that ceiling so we may need to just build a bit of a ladder here so they can get up to the last of that now what have we got here we have some more algae and things like that in here so we may actually carry this floor on right the way across and dig out all this algae and things like that in here because we're going to need that for our algae deoxidizer clearly <laughs> how can we deoxidize the algae when we have none awesome so they're getting that all happening now i might get them to finish digging out this oops sand I didn't want to know the details of sand that is fine I just wanted to dig the sand out of here we might maybe place their beds up here what was in here carbon dioxide all right so we don't want to get too close to that so we might just go up another one maybe we could yeah we can probably get away with another one maybe another one and we'll make a bedroom up here I think think that'll be a good idea look at him run look at him go check him out generating all the power that is max he is doing awesome so we have jobs up here so who is the runner Lyra is actually the runner Lyra you should be running on that not max 
So, where have we got? Lyra should be the only one fairly well that's doing the power. Bert is also not too bad. He's three in athletics. Um, what else do we have here? Um, none of my guys are really any good at doing art, except for Max. Max isn't too bad at doing art. And May can cook. No one else can cook. All right. Fair enough. Um, what do you got? One, zero, zero. All right. So you're not a tinkerer and you're not a tinkerer, but you can kind of tink. All right. So they're all relatively clever, except for Bert. He's not very clever. Um, liquid cool fan. So you guys are no good at that. No good at that. So we'll just get rid of all the stuff that they're no good at, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll work all of that out. Good job. How's our oxygen levels looking in here, guys? All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, oh, look, he's using the toilet. Good job. All better. Now, I will need to place another ladder so they can finish off the rest of the ceiling. Oops, what's going on there? Why did that not work? I wanted ladder. Ladder. Go like that like so so they can finish the rest of the ceiling there awesome so our toilet is now done we need to build some beds for these guys get rid of this we don't need any of that so we're going to put our beds i think up in this oh hang on someone did bad who let in the carbon dioxide oh it's actually not too bad that's all right then I thought I was going to have to fire someone. <laughs> they dug too high. So we'll dig out this area here. He's down here generating us some more oxygen. Awesome stuff. Dig out this area here and we might make this our bedroom. So we need some furniture. And here we go. We have some cots. So how many have we got? We got four. So we might place one there. Maybe one there. One there, and one there. That looks kind of cool. And this will be just their bedroom. We won't share this with anyone else. This will be just their bedroom. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I should probably remove that algae before I enclose it. Oh, well, we're going to have to build from above and come back down into it, I suppose. So, like that. Awesome. So, they now have their own nifty, nifty little bedroom but what else do we have down here oh so we're going to need going to need some storage of some sort where is all the storage hiding utilities medicine station furniture decor no nope, there must be storage here we go we have a storage compactor all right so we will place a few of these along here because we need to keep all our stuff in but they're all sleeping at the moment so we'll wait for these sleepy heads to wake up and then they'll come and build us some storage so we can keep all our algae and things like that in. And it actually says that we're ready for a new duplicate. I don't know if I'm ready yet though. Um, I don't know if I can manage another person just yet. We're just uh, getting comfortable with our four. <laughs> You're hungry? Well, how the heck did you get up there? <laughs> what are you doing to me, Bert? Get off of there. <laughs> you goose. Oh, they're all getting hungry. All right, so we're going to... Can we build a microbe musher? We can. So we're going to need power for this guy as well. So we might maybe put our microbe musher here. And we should probably chuck in another generator, I'm guessing with another battery so that can keep that running for a while hopefully um power these all up did we only have the one guy did we only have the one crew member who is our runner we may need to employ another runner because <laughs> one guy isn't going to be able to run all of this on his own and we need to get out of here we need to get some mush bars. Mmm, sounds delicious. What does it say here? Um, apparently du duplicates can gleam some nutrition from various goops in this outpost. So, they're 
Okay. Energy. Details. Um, it looks like it might just be made out of dirt. I don't actually know. It doesn't really say. And it may cause diarrhea. Awesome stuff. <laughs> That's what you like to hear when you're underground. Definitely. So we will fabricate some mush bars. Who's our cook? Who's the cook? Do we have a cook? Do we have anyone that can cook? May. He can kind of cook. All right, May. Can you make us some mush bars? That'd be awesome. Oh, what's going on over here? Ah, we need to tell it what we want. So we might have one with raw material, one with raw mineral, cultivable soil. Can't say that word very well. Um, organic seed. And I'll put down another two and they will be for those guys. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it because I'm not sure what is what just yet. And I don't want to be telling them to... Um, to be putting stuff with stuff that shouldn't be there. That's uh, that's kind of gross. We don't want to be putting the poop with the food. <laughs> and because I'm not really too sure which is poop and which is food just yet, we might just leave it like that. But as for this episode, I'm going to have to leave this one here. Thank you so much for joining me again and stay tuned. We'll definitely get these guys up and running, uh, try and see some more stuff, see what else we can make, keep our little colony growing, and I hope to see you all again soon. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.